Okay, this is FLP page 15. Let's see what we got. It says uh, ABCD, which is looks like um, parallelogram, is similar to HGFE. Create a proportion that could be used to determine the missing side lengths or missing side length. Here's what I'd do first. Let's get these letters written vertically. Line everything up. Okay. All right, so it says identify the corresponding sides. Number one, AB corresponds to, and if you look at your letters, just HG. BC corresponds to GF and CD corresponds to FE. DA corresponds to EH. Okay, let's look at number two. It says identify the corresponding angles. We've done a bunch of these already, so you know these pretty good. Just line your letters up. Angle A corresponds to angle H. Angle B corresponds to angle G, and angle C corresponds to angle F, and angle D corresponds to angle E. Select values from the boxes below that could be used in the proportion to determine the value of X. Set up the proportion by writing the values in the correct blank. Show you work to solve the problem. The solution is in the values below, write it in the box. Cool. Well, think about what we have up there. The first thing I would do is find my X. Okay? So my second one. So I'm going to make this top one line segment AD, which is 12. And you could flip them. You could have the X right here if you wanted to. HE is my x now the key to this is since this is our first uh, parallelogram up here the ad then straight across from it's got to be something from that first parallelogram also your your same shapes can't be diagonal from each other i mean we could flip them but they can't be diagonal so over here i'm going to put line segment cd because we have a measurement on it, it gives me a number and then below it, it's got a correspond, so it's F, E, and I'm going to put 2. Now, this is not the only way to set up the proportion. It's just the way I've chosen to set it up, okay? And notice that everything matches what's down here in the boxes. I pulled them out. So now all we got to do is cross multiply, and I've got 4X equals 24, cross multiplying, and then I'm dividing by 4. And my x is equal to, what is that, 6. So my solution would be 6. Cool. That was FLP 15. Let's jump over to 16 real quick. Okay. It says, uh, a rehabilitation facility hired an architect to create a ramp for patients in wheelchairs. The facility requested that the ramp rise 10 centimeters for every 30 centimeters. In uh, horizontal length, the height of the platform is 180 centimeters. How much space will the architect need for the length of the ramp? So we're looking for that right there. And you could actually make that an X if you want to. So the direction says select the values from the boxes below. They could be used in a proportion to determine the length of the ramp. Set up the proportion by writing the values. Show your work to solve the problem. Find your solution from the values below. Write the solution box. Okay. So let's think about what we're doing. Let's write our letters down first. And I like to keep them in alphabetical order as much as possible. There's A, B, C. And if you notice, the other letters are Q, R, and S. Okay? I'm going to start out with the first one. I always do. I'm going to go with A, C because it corresponds to my variable, the one I'm looking for. And it is Q, S, oops, forgot my line segment. And QS is our question mark, or in this case, we'll put an X in our proportion. Over here, we'll choose AB because it's got a dimension on it of 10. That way I got some numbers. 
And then I'll correspond to AB by, look right here, AB, QR. So I know they're corresponding. And the QR measurement is, I believe, 1A. Okay. So there's my proportion. Now all i got to do is uh, what I've been taught as far as solving proportions with a variable. And that's cross multiplying. So I'm going to end up with 10x equals... 5400 I believe check on your calculator when I divide that I end up with an x value of 540 and that's in our solution so that's great okay and that's page 16 okay I think I'll just put two pages on these videos, so I'll jump off of that one and I'll put 17 on a new video. Okay. I uh, hope it's starting to sink in a little bit. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.